Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh. And this only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. <coughs> All right, so this lesson is going to be about not letting anything stop you from getting your crown. Okay, because there's going to be um, a lot of stumbling blocks and you're going to have to go through um, tribulation and suffering and, you know, you're going to have to jump hurdles and you're going to have to deal with a lot of stuff to get to the kingdom. That's why the Bible says through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. There's going to be a lot of tribulation, suffering um, to get to the kingdom. But when you look at it, in all actuality, the kingdom of heaven is, is priceless, okay? It's forever. It's forever. It's peace. It's peace. It's um, refreshing. It's new. It's glorious. It's safety. It's powerful, it's real rulership, it's righteous, it's everything that's right in the world. Because when the kingdom is established, the world will be right side up, not upside down, you know. And <coughs> right now we see in its full strength what it's like to see a kingdom that is run the wrong way. Uh, we see suffering. We see we see the losers being winners. We see the ones who are beneath us, above us. We see everything from a spiritual aspect. And we see what we don't want. So when you look at it, the kingdom to come... It's everything we want, and this place is everything we don't want. And we can't let what's going on here stop us from getting exactly what we want. Even though we were warned about this from the prophets of old, that this would happen. This is why, <coughs> this is why the scriptures tell you, study to show thyself approved. So we could be mentally prepared for what's about to happen because the scriptures are our motivation. And this is one of my favorite motivational um, passages, you know, um, um, Romans 8 and 35 all the way through 39 is uh, very motivational because. It lets you know that it is possible that you can go through everything and get the kingdom. You saw what happened to Yahweh Shai. He went through extreme stress and pain, suffered, and he overcame. He overcame death and everything. And we can also do that too. All right? So with that... <coughs> I'm going to start off with uh, Romans 8 and 35. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or uh, peril or sword? As it is written, for thou for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter all right 
So it's it's a question. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? And it gives a list of things, you know, famine, nakedness, you know, even weapons like the sword, persecution, these things. All right. But we go through all manners of hell every day of suffering because we have to, to deny ourselves. All right. Of these worldly lusts. We have to deny the flesh. So we're killed all the day long because we're constantly fighting the flesh and killing off the old man. All right. So when you're fighting, you're not you're not when you're fighting against the flesh, you're not giving in to the flesh. OK, that's that's the that's the fight. When you're no longer fighting the flesh, you're allowing the flesh to consume you. And then you're then next thing you know, you're um, complying with your flesh, which is your worldly lust, your worldly mind. All right. You start to give in on certain things. You start to say, you know, oh, well, I don't have to go to camp today or I don't have to do videos or I don't have to pray or I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like doing that. I don't want to fellowship with brothers. I don't want to do this. Next thing you know. <coughs> Next thing you know, you fall away. You start making excuses. Oh, I got to work. Or I got to go, you know, I got to go be with my family. Or I got to be with my girl. Da, da, da. Or if that's all trouble in the flesh. You have to constantly kill off the flesh, the old man. And not let anything distract you from your salvation. All right? It says, nay, and all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And who was that? Yahweh Shai. So no, all these things cannot stop you. Because we are more than we are more than conquerors. It says, man, more than conquerors. You know, what do you what does it mean to conquer something? You know, what I mean. You mean, you, you overcame it, man. All right. So we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, which is Yahweh Shai. Because he died for our sins, man. He suffered for us. And the Bible says, um, is the servant greater than the master? And the answer is no. So he suffered. We, we suffer too. It's just a balance. Because we are his disciples. So we follow him. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other uh, creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, our Lord. Man, it just gave you a list of everything, spiritually and carnally, to not let anything stop you from getting the love of Yahweh Shai and the love of Yahweh to get the kingdom. Let nothing in this world stop you from getting your salvation. Nothing. Not even death. Not even death can stop you. Not even life. Angels. Nothing can stop you. From getting the love of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? Death is the enemy. <laughs> man, nothing can stop you, man. <laughs> like I tell you in the book of Philippians, I can do all things through Hamashiach, who strengthens me. If the Lord will give you strength, you can overcome it. So with that, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai.